Hey, Asim, how are you? I'm good, AK. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, buddy. Thanks. Um, let's start with giving uh, everyone just a quick introduction about uh, who you are and uh, what you do. Uh, so, currently, I'm an agent with Cityscape Real Estate, which is based out in uh, Mississauga, Canada. So, we basically were trying to give our viewers an idea about how the UAE market is doing right now. Um, I think what we want to know from your end is, uh, can you tell us a bit more about how the Canadian real estate market is doing today? Yeah. So see, uh, first of all, 15% of Canada's GDP comes out of Canadian real estate, okay? And which is a significant point because in Canada, they consider uh, the housing market to be one of the most stable markets. And as far as current situation is concerned, nobody is in panic. Everybody is just holding off, everybody is staying home at this point and everybody knows and believes in the Canadian government to take the right steps. Let's let's say for a, for an investor who's not yet entered the North American or the Canadian market in particular, um, yeah. from what we are aware, over the last 10 years, Canada has seen an, uh, a hike in kind of price point, right? Much yes. like the US stock market, which has been growing nonstop over the last 10 years. And a lot of people keep saying that the housing market in Canada is going to fall, it's going to crash, but it's not been happening. It's just been on an upward trend over the last 10 years. So do you think this situation will actually cause that correction in a drastic manner? And do you think going forward for someone who's new to the Canadian market, is it going to be a good entry point because they're going to get good deals? Or do you think it's not going to get impacted as such because of perhaps there being more end users in the market or whatever other reason. What do you think about that? Like I mentioned earlier that you can see a price correction of 5%, but you cannot think that, oh, is the market really going to crash with the values evaporating for over 30%, how it has happened in the stock market, you know. Real estate is a tangible asset. You're comparing it to a business and which or the balance sheets, which are non-tangible assets of a business. So you can tell every investor in the world today that yes housing market of Canada is very stable housing market of Canada is going to continue to grow and I don't see any reason why an investor should wait any longer to enter it do you not anticipate that a lot of people who are holding stock okay in terms of real estate might require liquidity maybe in their business or for their XYZ expenses do you not think that they would be keen on exiting from the real estate portfolio just to gain that liquidity and don't you think that in turn will allow new investors to enter the market at very interesting prices see where as far as flow, uh, foreclosures are concerned there are two options uh, normally that uh, a stock owner of a real estate has one is he could tap into his home equity lines right which the banks would provide because given the favorable interest rates coming into play and banks obviously don't want uh, to get into the legalities of trying to take away people's assets because at the end of the day if the market is tanking for example the bank is also not going to get its, its fair market value for that asset even if it goes into the auction so the what would be favorable for the banks as well is to try to support their customers and try to keep them afloat rather than, you know, uh, letting them uh, sink completely. And is there easy option uh, to tap into bank financing for new or uh, first-time buyers? Yes, as long as uh, you are able to show that your uh, income can support and take care of the mortgage amortization, the banks will support you. So is this particularly for people who are based out of Canada, who have some kind of income being generated in Canada, or is this also applicable for people who have say zero exposure to Canada, who don't have any kind of um, jobs or business in Canada, who are completely based in different regions. See, Canadian banks always welcome foreign investors into the country, so, so but the terms might be slightly different. As far as when you're a Canadian, you need to put down 20%, but as a foreign investor, you may be asked to put down between 30 to 35% down, you know, just so that the bank also wants to create enough safety net for itself. Um, lastly, uh, you know, it's, it's very difficult for any of us to predict where the current situation goes. How long does it go for? Everyone guesses are as good as your and mine and none of us have a crystal ball in our hands. But in your opinion, um, for someone looking to perhaps enter the market, what kind of timeline do you see? Do you think the situation is going to be prime for someone to enter in three months? Do you see this? Uh, maybe six months down the line or do you, do you think people should ideally hold on for say another year? See, I think any investor should be ready to get into the market between three to six months. 
because that is going to sort of give a direction to where this is heading. It was good speaking to you, Sim. Thanks a lot for uh, being on the call with us and sharing uh, valuable insights about the Canadian real estate market with us and everyone. Anything that you'd like to add? Well, I would just like to tell everybody: stay safe, stay at home, and don't worry. You know, we always have a bright future ahead of us. That's good to know. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.